my beloved brothers and sisters, one of the gifts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us that gives us great hope in his mercy is that when we cannot do something, he actually allows us uh, to either not to do it or to do it in a smaller way. For example, if you're on a journey, uh, there is a certain type of prayer that you would fulfill rather than the complete number of units you would cut down the number of units or raka'at for most of the prayers. So, for example, the prayer that has four units would actually be discounted and it would become a prayer of two units, subhanAllah, because of the journey, because of the difficulty and the hardship. The same applies if a person were sick or ill and they were unable to pray standing, they may do so sitting. And if they cannot do so sitting, they may do so lying down. Imagine if this was not the case and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not allow that. The same would apply, for example, to those who are fasting. If you're unable to fast, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, وَمَن كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِّنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ those who are ill or on a journey can make up the fast they've missed because of the illness or the journey later on, on other days. Now, imagine if that was not permissible and if it was just the rule that you have to do it and there's no way out or you would be punished. So Allah has given us a lot of hope and he allows us uh, this leeway whenever we need it. This is something amazing. Similarly, when it comes to uh, the battlefield, prayer is something you have to fulfill. So if you cannot do it standing, you do it sitting. If you cannot do it in this way, you can do it the other way. You need to learn about it, but you don't miss your prayer. Sometimes if you're on a conveyance and you happen to be flying, for example, you happen to be on this vehicle, for example, and there is no way that you can actually stop in order to fulfill that prayer, then you may do so on that conveyance. You may fulfill your prayers on the aircraft. So this is something also a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where there is a certain element of flexibility. That gives me a lot of hope because I know I can fulfill it.